Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microd Configuration Series. Today we will see how we can create users graphs for our Microd router. There are many tools available to create graphs for router users. One of the most common traffic monitor tool is Cacti MRTG. But you have to configure server for it, then configure SNMP to pull the users from your router. The good news is that Microdic has its own graphing tool. With this feature, you can monitor various parameters from your router. It could be interface traffic, queue traffic, or resource users like CPU memory. Graphic consists of two parts, one collects the data and other displays it on web page. Let's see how to set it up. I open my Microdic router. Now I will select the tools and then to the graphing. Okay, you can see there's the interface rules, there's the queue rules and resource rules. I will click on the plus sign to add. We will monitor all the interface, hello address, any IP. Apply and OK. And the queue rules will do the same thing. Apply and OK. And for resource rule, click plus sign to add. Now we can monitor CPU users for this router as well. OK. Now to see the graphs, we'll have to open our browser, type the Microdic router IP address, click enter. So it actually hit on the 80 port. So we'll click the graphs. You can see now we have the CPU users, memory users graphs. If I open it on different tab, you can see, you can see now we have the CPU users graphs. We have the interface graphs here, 74 interfaces here. These are the simple queues, GGC, BDX, FTP. So it will pull the graphs every five minutes here and every 30 minutes here. And you can see the monthly graph and yearly graph. So now you can monitor your router from this graph tool but to secure these things because it is open in 80 port you can see we will change that it is better if you change this from the ip and the service this ww port you must change the port for security reason you must set the ip address here to restrict unauthorized access from unknown network so it is better if you set the IP address that you know, like your own network or the IP address that your user can connect and monitor the graphs. That's all for today. Please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.